your two teams for this afternoon, Tilford City and Coral Blue.
Ian, a 4 0 victory today, despite probably not being at our best. No, I think it's difficult. We can't play to the level we played against Eastbourne every week and you've got to give a bit of credit to Chelmsford because they came here, they set up, made it difficult for us and they were hard to break down and uh, we got a bit fortunate with the first goal and then also with the second and off. So it's, uh, you look back over the 90 minutes and uh, though we haven't played well, it's still nice to come away with three points and you can't play to the level we played against Eastbourne every single week. Uh, the sending off and obviously the second goal we scored sort of gave us the uh, freedom to go on and, and win the game comfortably. Yeah, I think up to the second goal we'd missed a couple of great chances. I know Graham McGonmid had missed a couple when I felt it was probably better for him to score or easier for him to score. Um, and we'd, we'd, we'd put a couple of really good moves together, but we hadn't really broken them down. So it was a bit fortunate to get the first goal. And then, as you said there, you know, the second goal and the sending off turns the game. Um, and in the end, we ran out quite comfortable winners. And uh, as I say, despite not being at our best today, scoring four goals in a clean sheet is obviously uh, is a good thing. Yeah, and that gives the players confidence, but you know, there's still areas there we still need to concentrate on, there's areas there we still need to work on, um, and that's what we're doing again in the week. But it's nice that you know the squad's coming together nicely now. The chairman's backed us this week by allowing us to bring Matt Parsons and David Moley in. Um, so the squad's looking quite good. So it, it's important that we, we work with them over the next... Um, the next few weeks, we've got two weeks now where we haven't got a midweek game, um, so we can work with the players quite tough, and uh, hopefully we can take it into the Basingstoke game in the M in the FA Cup and uh, come out of there unscathed over the next two weeks. And uh, so that's three wins from three games now, and and the consistency that you asked for sort of coming to light. Yes, I mean as I said to you, really the only performance we've not really put a put a performance together was for Bath game where we lost 2-1. Um, and that's what we're aiming for. You know, they, they're a very young squad here. I think the oldest player is 28, 29 here, and the rest after that we've got a few around the 26, 27, and everybody else is sort of 23, 24, and even younger than that. So it's it's a great squad we've got. It's it's a young squad, and all we can do is keep trying to push them in the right areas and, and try and teach them some good habits, and try and nullify the the poor habits which one or two have still got um, if we want to improve. Uh, and as you just said, we've brought in uh, Matthew Parsons and David Moley this week, uh, with David Moley uh, adding more competition to the striking department. Yeah, that's an area we've been looking at since the start of the season, really. I mean, the, the, the chairman has spoke to myself to, for, for many weeks now, saying we need to just strengthen in that area. But I think it was it was right to make sure that we got the right the right forward we was looking for. I mean, no disrespect to David, that we've we've tried two or three prior to that, and we just hasn't managed to pull it off. Um, so it was it was right for us this week to go with David. It was right for us to bring him into the squad today, and it'd be right for him. For, to, obviously, he wants to get back to being a professional footballer, and the only way he's going to do that is by playing games, playing well for us, scoring goals for us and the, and the pro clubs will take notice as it's doing with Lee Angle and obviously with Austin Lippmann who are at their respectable pro clubs but people are starting to watch them because they're scoring goals for us. And uh, we have a seven day break now before we go to Basingstoke next Saturday uh, who have also started very well in the Vanarama South this year. Yeah, whether we was paying Basingstoke next week or the team that's lying bottom of the table, and uh, we know in this league every single game is a tough, tough game. You can't, if you approach this, this, these games and you're not quite on your on your own game, you know you're going to be in for a tough game. And, and as we've seen in some of the results already this season, everybody beats everybody. We've got to be on our, our metal. We've got to make sure that we approach the game right, and we've got to make sure that we come away with there with at least, if it's not going to be three points, at least a point, and we remain unbeaten as we go into the FA Cup the following week. Lovely. Thanks for talking to us, Ian. Good luck next Saturday. Thank you. Uh, Luke, uh, top of the league, three points, a clean sheet and two goals yourself. You must be happy today. Yeah, very happy. Obviously, they've come here to do a job. We got the goal in the 30 off, 35th, 40th minute, which changed their whole complexion on the game. They had to come out and obviously come at us, which we're best at when teams come and attack us. So, yeah, no, it was good. All round, very good. And uh, despite scoring four goals today, we probably weren't at our best. Yeah, you could say that, but obviously... Um, Teams are coming here now, trying to pick us off. So obviously now we're sitting on the top of the table. It's a total different dynamic when we're playing opposition here. So we have to understand that we have to be patient. But 
we won 4-0, probably not at our best. We should have had a couple more, but we'll go again. And as a group, we're showing this year that we can put teams to bed, which was probably our downfall last year. Yeah, I think we could be even more ruthless in fairness. The Gaffer addressed it after the game. Obviously, they got their goal, which wasn't good because we like to keep clean sheets. But um, yeah, no, more def most definitely getting a, a little bit more ruthless in front of goal. We can probably put the sword to them a little bit more, but four goals at home is always good. And another tough test awaits next Saturday when we visit Bathamstoke Town. Massive test. Yeah, they're, they're firing, they're flying, they've got a good squad. We've got a, obviously got to go away from home, so we have a good record away from home. But it's going to be a tough test. It's not an easy game in this Conference South. Everyone's beating everyone, so we'll have to organise, have a good long week worth of training, and we go again on Saturday. Lovely. Thanks for talking to us, Luke. Pleasure.